Now then, Jez, how are you today? Are you keeping well? Yeah, good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Um, let's start by looking back before we look forward. Um, personally, what hurt you most of all about the Derby loss at the weekend? Uh, I just think we missed some opportunities. We had a lot of opportunities to score and gain good field position and we just missed the opportunities just by, by a few uh, silly mistakes and basic errors. But I thought the effort was there and uh, it was back to playing like with that whole KR effort, what we what we pride ourselves on. What's been the thrust of the message then from Willie at the start of this week? I just think keep the same effort that went into the game with and just tidy a few things up uh, around errors and just being smart with a few decisions. How much has it knocked confidence? Uh, no, it's not not confidence. Uh, we believe we can go into every game and win. It's just uh, just tweaking them little things, and we we still looked at things where what we did well and 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 to keep keep doing that. Have you come off social media at the start of the week? <laughs> uh, I haven't been on social media too much, but I'm sure I'll get a, a bit of stick when I'm when I'm walking around or going to the shop or something. So that, that's expected. Yeah, have you had a bit of that then already? Yeah, I've got a few black and white friends as well, so they they've obviously given me a message, but it'll it'll come back round and we'll be able to give them it at some point. So can't wait for that. Five defeats from the last six, then why so? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we've gone a, away from a, a few things what we did early on in the season, but we've had some good performances as well. Uh, I think. The lead performance, we can take that as we didn't play like we, like we should play. But I think the derby, the effort was there. Just a, a few things. What if we'd have changed, would have, would have maybe come away with a result. So not not all too doom and gloom. Uh, we've got two big matches coming up. Uh, I think we joined with with Leeds, so it'd be good to get one over and them. And then the week after, it's the semi final. So can't wait for both of them. Given that you're level pegging on the table, what significance then, Jez, do you place on the outcome of this game at Leeds? Uh, yeah, it's massive. Uh, we want to be in the playoffs come the business end of the year. And we know this period is massive for us. So we all know the importance of the game and uh, we're going into it uh, to win. Has the tumble, though, from a top six position made you question whether you can make the end of season playoffs? Uh, no, not really. If we've got opportunity. We're still in a really good position in the in the season. We're in a Challenge Cup semi-final and we're around about the six. So I think if we tweak a few things, we're, we're going to be there, thereabouts at the end of the year. How do you fix up your attack? Because I know that's been under the microscope, hasn't it, just recently. What would you say? I think just details, uh, just knowing your role and, and going away and, and watching games and uh, being around your teammates and, and building them relationships and then going away looking at it and then working out at training and then transforming that into the game. You have a new face in the ranks this week in, in Brad, don't you? It's early days, but how's he looked? Yeah, it was good. I had my first session with him today. It was good to see, just to get a bit of his knowledge and just to see how he plays and uh, just, yeah, get, get him up to speed with the calls and, and just to see how he plays as well and just react off that. Have you seen him at all on, on YouTube? Uh, I, I remember watching a couple of games, an RL games when he played, and he looks a real tidy player. So, yeah, I can't wait to to take the field with him. How vocal is he? Yeah, he's vocal, not too vocal. Uh, he sort of told me a few things what he likes, so that was good to know. And, uh, yeah, he's just like your typical halfback. He looks like he's got a good kicking game as well, so that, that'll be massive for us. What's he told you then? Can you share that? I can't, I can't share too many secrets. <laughs> That's to see on Friday. But he's got experience, hasn't he? How much do you need that, do you feel, at this point? Yeah, for a young fella, he look, looks like he's got a lot of experience and he plays like uh, like he's got a lot of experience. He's got, got a lot of time and stuff. So I think that's what we need. And we've got players who can jump on the back of that. So, yeah, I can't wait. So let's talk about Leeds. Um, you beat them, didn't you, in the rain earlier on this season and you played in that game. What are your memories of that one? Uh, Jordan Abdul's kicking game <laughs> yeah but no it was good We that's what we pride ourselves on uh, on the back of a good kicking game and back our defence and try and make, make teams break that way and uh, we'll, we'll be looking to do that again on Friday obviously it'll be a different game it's, it's, it'll be a dry track and they're a team that likes to throw the ball about so our defence will have to be top notch and then hopefully we can tweak a few things and get our attack right Jordan is one of those players who's missing at the moment how much do you feel you are missing him? Uh, yeah, we are missing him, but we've had a couple of good games where we've got Rowan in and, and Mike, who are top players as well. So we've had games where we've 
we've played well. It's just the past couple of weeks we haven't got the results. What about your season? How would you best sum it up personally? Uh, I think it's been a little bit up and, up and down. It's been good to play the past few games at, uh, at Hooker and I'm enjoying that learning. Uh, I played a, a few games at halfback just to fill in whilst Jordan was away. So that, that was good to learn there, but I'm just looking to cement a role in, in the middle along with Matty and uh, just, just build on that, yeah. How did you find them playing in the halves? Uh, I've done it before, so it wasn't too strange, but uh, it's it's different defending, different uh, attacking. You've got more of a, a dominant role. Uh, you've got to talk with the players around you out wide, so that was different. But I've done it. I've done it before, so it, it was all right. Did you feel big pressure there then, filling Jordan boot, Jordan's boots? Uh, yeah, definitely with Jordan, with Jordan, because he he was our main like. Uh, he leads the team around the park and then you've got Mike who just jumps off the back of that. But sort of playing with me and Mikey, it was, it was tough a little bit, but we had some great games there, so it was good. No Mikey this week, how much will you miss him, do you think? Yeah, uh, you're always going to miss a player like Mikey. He's, he's like a, he's a laugh wire, isn't he? And he's, he does some magic play for us, so we're going to miss him, but we can't look too much into that. We've got to look forward and we've got a massive game and a massive opportunity to get in that six. Yes, and obviously a victory would, would be a big fillip for you. As for Leeds, um, what about them at the moment? They've won the last three, as we know, and uh, beat Salford last time out in a, in a bit of a scrappy game. Um, what, what might you expect from them at Headingley? What sort of a contest might it be, do you think? Uh, I think all time when you play Leeds, you've got to expect them to throw the ball about. They've got some real attacking threats. Uh, Cam Smith, obviously Austin and that, so... You've got to be alert for all of them. And yeah, we're just expecting the, the best lead around us when we go there. And we're going to hopefully give them the best all care. Can I talk to you about your international uh, aims? Obviously, there is the series against Tonga uh, in October and November of this year. How much is that in your mind at this stage? Uh, yeah, a little bit at the back of my mind, but I think I'm just fully focused on playing consistently for all care. And, and we've got big things to do. What we, what we want to achieve at this club, we've got a semi-final and we want to get in that playoff. So I think if I do right here, it should take care of itself. So I'm just focused on OKR at the minute. Have you spoken to Sean Wayne? Does he check in with you at all? Uh, I haven't spoke to him recently since we left camp, but uh, yeah, I loved it at the camp. It was a great experience and yeah, I, I loved uh, playing under him. Is it a concern though, if, if, if the form does dip away, then you're aim of being in the squad at the end of this season might be jeopardised by that. Yeah, definitely. If you if you are in form, you're not going to play for your for your country because there's a lot of good hookers in the in the league. And if they're doing well, they're they're going to get picked. So I've just got to try and just not focus on it too much because it'll it'll take me away from my game and just try and get stuff right at my club and hopefully that can take me to the next step. It could be used as a positive, couldn't it, then, in that regard? You could use it as something to focus the mind on to try and get your, your, your club form right, to get back into the to, to get into the international reckoning again. Yeah, definitely. If you're doing well at your club, you pl you're playing in bigger games, and if you're playing in bigger games, you've got more eyes on you. So definitely, that's that's the biggest thing for me. And can you share with us, what, what sort of a buzz was it like for you back in April to, to, to get a cap for your country? Uh, it, I was sort of just in a bubble at first. It, I, I couldn't believe it. And then going into the camp and just being in that prof professional environment of of representing your country. And then when I received the cap, it was just like a dream come true. And then to sing the national anthem, it's, it's some of what you dream of as a kid. And just to do it was unreal. My, fam my family was real proud. And I, w I was there with Mikey as well. So that was special. Uh, I got to have another old lad there. And yeah, to be able I'd love to do it again to be a dream come true, but just to being able to get that first cap was was unreal. I was chatting with Davey about you not so long ago, uh, talking about the family, and he was telling me how proud he was of you. Um, do you chat quite frequently? Yeah, we sp we speak most like we speak most days really. Uh, I'll, I've, I'm love loving seeing how, how much he's come on. He's a he's a real athlete, and I think every time he's played, he's played class. So. Hopefully we can push him through and get get him an international one day. So I think he's heading in the in the right direction. Is it nice to have a family member who who also plays the game and can relate to what you're saying? Yeah, definitely. We we speak a lot about like our performances and and how we're playing and, and where we're playing. Uh, it was a shame we couldn't play against each other in the derby, but I'm sure there'll be a game where we where we play against each other and that that'll be an headache for the family. But uh, 
yeah, I, I love seeing him progressing and yeah, he's, he's doing really well. A headache in what way? Uh, I don't know. I think my granddad had to wear one all KR sock and one all FC sock. So <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be a tough one. He'll have to root through his draw to try and find a matching pair there. All right. Nice to chat with you, Jez, and uh, we wish you well. Thanks for your time. Hello. Hi, Jez. You all right? It's Gary here. Hi, Matt. Um, I suppose the disappointment of the, of the recent run, but you're still in with a shout at the top, so it shows how far the team's come, I guess. Yeah, definitely. We've had a lot of adversity to, to face this year, and um, we've lost the past couple of games. Like Against Lee, we didn't perform well, but against FC, we did, we did perform well. We just needed to sweep a couple of things, and as, as doom and gloom as it might seem, we're in a great position. We've got a semi-final in two weeks and we've got a, a game on Friday night against a good team, but to put us back in contention, we're getting in that six. So we've got to be positive-minded and, and going to it, giving them the best Hull KR. How has Hull KR as a club developed during your time there? It seems a lot bigger, a lot of things around it are a lot bigger than a few years ago, maybe. Yeah, definitely. I think we're a team what a lot of teams don't like coming to face. Uh, Obviously, there's a lot of off-the-field stuff going on. What We don't concentrate on too much. We've just got to get it right on the pitch and just shows like we've got a, a great leadership group. We've got some great senior players and then some good young players coming through as well. So I think we've got a great balance of that. And yeah, it shows on the pitch. You said that players can't get in too involved with the off-field stuff, but seeing the, seeing the club develop off the field, does it almost give the players like more of a responsibility to produce on the field, maybe? Yeah, definitely. It's exciting. You, you can't ignore it too much. Like the, the plans, what we've got building around the stadium and that, like, it, especially for the younger players coming through, they're going to see it more than, more than us boys, but it, it's good. Uh, it transfers off the field, on the field, and we've got a lot of good senior players, like I said, who uh, will drive some real good standards. So, yeah, that's good. It's a club that appears ready to, to take that next step and become a real, real big club, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that, I think the next step's there. Uh, playing in these big games, like I said before, and we've got a semi-final coming up. We'd love to get to Wembley. That's a, That was a goal at the start of the year, so we've, we've still got that goal and we've still got the other goal of getting in the playoffs, so we're still in a good position. You said about playing in the big games. I mean, did you, from, from your England experience, did you perhaps learn from the likes of George Williams or Jack Welty a thing or two about playing in those big games, about how to approach it, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I had a lot of nerves in the England camp and just to look around and you've got these these players around you uh, who were top players and, and just how just how they handled it. And it's not too different to the players we've got here. We've got a lot of former international players and current international players and players that I played in in grand finals before. So I think you've just got to pick stuff off there and, and pick stuff up off them and, and just learn from it and, and take it when you do have them big games. Is keeping calm perhaps the big the biggest thing you've perhaps learned? Not letting the occasion get to you, maybe. Yeah, definitely. It's the same as like playing in a derby game. It's the build up of the week, and being from Hull, you, you've got to manage the emotions, and you you get a lot of people to speak to you about the derby and stuff. And you've sort of got to get away from it and and just think it is a game. What you've got to do your job, and if you do do your job, you get the results. So, in a way, though, like this week's a big game, next week's a big game. That's what you want, isn't it? Like players want big game after big game after big game, don't they? Yeah, definitely. It shows you're in a you're in a good team, and if you're playing in big games all the time, you're learning, and then it'll transfer into the other big games. You'll you'll learn from your mistakes and and do better, and that's what we're hoping to do. Well, in cheers, Jess. Thank you very much. Much appreciated.